Hey guys, it's Allie, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing unpopular opinions about the Girl of the Year line as a whole, as well as each individual Girl of the Year, some which are my own, and then some which were given by you guys from YouTube and Instagram. So this video ended up being around 25 minutes, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do not feel like sitting through 25 minutes straight of a video, and since I'm planning to post this right as I enter midterm season, I figured the best thing to do would be to split this video into two parts. So this part, part one, will cover just general opinions about the Girl of the Year line, and then all of the Girl of the Years starting with the first Girl of the Year, Lindsay, all the way up until Krissa and Friends. Part two, which will come out next week, will be covering all of the double digit Girl of the Years, so Lainey from 2010, all the way up until our current Girl of the Year, Corinne Tan for 2022, because yes, people already do have opinions about her. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you do not miss part two whenever that ends up getting posted. If you guys like this video, then be sure to let me know so I can potentially include a sequel version of this video, but by talking about every single historical doll. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with the general opinions about the Girl of the Year dolls, one opinion that one of you guys suggested is that summer Girl of the Years are better than the winter Girl of the Years. And I don't necessarily know what people's opinion is on this, whether it's popular or unpopular, but I'm actually gonna have to disagree. Maybe it's because Corinne is a winter themed girl of the year and it's the first time in a while that we've gotten one, but because the girl of the year dolls do release in winter in January, that's when all of the hype is. And that's when a lot of places have snow and are colder. January 1st, there was snow where I live. So it's just a lot more fun to be able to take those winter themed photos than worrying about trying to take beach photos, but you have snow everywhere. So I definitely do love the winter girl of the year so far. Smaller collections in the early girl of the year were better because you can collect everything. I don't really have too much of an opinion on this as when I got into American Girl, the Girl of the Year's collections were quite big. I do think it's nice that it's easier to collect everything, but then there's also not as much variety. So if you don't like the one outfit the doll has, you can't really get anything. The animal theme is more overdone than dance. I have to agree, especially as a dancer. Dance is so diverse. Hip hop is nothing like ballet. Tap is nothing like lyrical. So even though dance is like one activity, I guess. It's very, very diverse. Like what Isabel does is nothing like what Marisol does in terms of like tap is not ballet. But one thing that nobody is critiquing is the amount of animal themed girl of the years from Nikki, Jess, Leah, Kira. American Girl is just capitalizing off of plush animals now. And it's very overdone in my opinion. And even though yes, there are so many different types of animals out there, it's just not exciting to me. So now moving on to the opinions about specific girl of the years, you will notice that some girl of the years have way more unpopular opinions than others. I guess they're more controversial, but two girl of the years actually did not have any unpopular opinions and I will address that when we get there. But the first girl of the year is Lindsay and she does have a few unpopular opinions. One that I saw quite a lot was that people think Lindsay is really cute. And I do agree with this one. I think her hair being really short actually suits Lindsay really well and definitely makes her stand out from the other girl of the years. With her darker hair, I love that she has bright blue eyes. Yes, she is a classic mold, but there were not as many face molds back when Lindsay released as there are now. And yes, I do agree she's cute and I've seen some really cute photos of Lindsay's. But then on the other hand, people say that Lindsay is bland because her only personality trait is soccer. So that seems like a negative thing. But then other people said that they liked that Lindsay was a relatable girl with not really a theme. So everyone could relate to her, which I agree with because you have dolls like Luciana Vega. And even though she loves science, it's not something I can necessarily relate to, especially because I just just dropped a science class in favor of psychology because I'm not that smart. And then of course there's people who just straight up don't like Lindsay. So I think this is a doll where there's not really a clear consensus on if the community loves her or dislikes her. Moving on, I love the way this opinion was worded. So I kept it the same. And it said that many people would love Kaylee if she didn't turn into a carrot. So if you have no idea what this is referring to, Kaylee dolls do have a manufacturer defect where over time they will kind of turn yellow and I don't 
don't really have an opinion on this as I was only born when Kaylee was released and you do not get a brand new baby an American Girl doll typically. So I didn't have much experience getting Kaylee. I don't know what her popularity was like back in 2003 and 2004. So I can't really share my opinion. And then of course, a lot of people said that she's plain, but I do think that it is quite popular and I honestly would have to agree with that myself. Just because I feel like with all the American Girl dolls, especially that they've made since 2003, Kaylee does get quite forgotten about and washed out. But then some people also said that she has a fun collection and is really pretty. So I guess we don't know, once again, what the community thinks of Kaylee. Next is Marisol, the girl of the year for 2005, and one person said that she would be cuter with freckles. Now, I do not know what year off the top of my head American Girl really started to add freckles to their dolls. I don't know if freckles were a thing when Marisol was released, but I think almost any doll would honestly be cuter with freckles, and I still need to get a freckled doll for my collection. A lot of people said that she's underrated and deserves more hype. Once again, I don't have a huge opinion on this as I was a tiny toddler when Marisol was released, so I never really knew about American Girl and was there for the girl of the year hype and what people were saying about her. And then one person said, even though it's era appropriate, they dislike her meat outfit. I will say it is very, very 2000s. That's not a bad thing because 2000s fashion is coming back, but it's definitely not my most favorite girl of the year outfit. Moving on to Jess, we only have one opinion about her and that is me. And that is, I don't really get the hype about Jess. Now, Jess is definitely not the most hyped up girl of the year. And I'm sure in 2006, well, she introduced the Jess mold. So of course that would have been something to get excited about. But in 2022, there are way more dolls in the Truly Me line, the girl of the year line, the historical line that I feel like specifically in the Truly Me line look very similar to Jess, such as 40, 30. So Jess just doesn't feel as unique of a doll to me anymore as she did in 2006. So I don't think I would spend extra money just to get a Jess Girl of the Year doll unless I started collecting Girl of the Year dolls. I would rather save my money and get a Truly Me doll that looks similar. Nikki from 2007, I got a few unpopular opinions for, but they were just very, very brief opinions. Like she's pretty, she's boring. So I'm not really gonna comment too, too much on Nikki just because I don't really have that much material to talk about. I did get one opinion about Mia, the Girl of the Year for 2008, and it said that she had one of the best collections. And this is a theme you will see throughout the other Girl of the Years as well. I absolutely love Mia's bed set and I love her figure skating outfit, but I wasn't really into American Girl in 2008 when Mia was released. So I don't really have a big opinion on her collection or anything like that as a whole. Krissa was unexpectedly popular in terms of unpopular opinions and kind of like how when Tenny was released, there was the Tenny hate train and it definitely still exists, especially on Instagram where people would just make memes and hate on Tenny and calling her ugly and everything. Krissa has kind kind of become the new Tenny in the butt of all the jokes. And as someone who owns a Krissa doll, I feel really bad for her. And you will definitely see some of those jokes come in with these opinions. By the way, I did decide to group Sonali and Gwen in under Krissa. So any opinions about her will be here too. So the first one is my opinion, and that is that Sonali is quite overhyped. Her and another doll later on this list were definitely the it dolls of AG Tube and AGIG, especially back in the mid 2010s. And and even though I think once Sonali was released, the hype would have definitely been deserved because, well, similar to Jess, she introduced a brand new mold and I think her wig is really pretty. Over time, very similar. Her parts just don't seem as unique anymore. There are so many dolls that have the Sonali mold and her really long black wig can be found on dolls like 49. And I just would not pay a bunch of money to get Sonali if I can get a Truly Me doll that has a Sonali mold and black hair that I like as well. Of course, some people still love Sonali, and if you want to get Sonali, if she's your dream doll, go for it, but she's not on my list anytime soon. Plus, if you don't want to be paying a fortune for Sonali, you're going to probably be getting one that's a bit of a fixer-upper, and even though there's nothing bad with that, fixing split ends is a pain, and that does deter me from getting Sonali and liking her even more. Back to Krissa, somebody said that she looks like a 29-year-old nurse. There are so many jokes going around AGIG about how Krissa, at least in her book cover, looks like a full-grown adult. I'm just staring at Krissa on my doll shelf right now and she does not look like a 29 year old adult in the doll form at least. A lot of people said that Krissa is actually the best girl of the year partly due to her bullying story and her collection. I will say I'm not an expert on girl of the year stories but Krissa and her movie are super relatable to me because I've been through bullying. I'm sure unfortunately a lot of you guys watching this video have been through bullying. Teaching kids how to deal with bullying and recognize the signs of it is a very important message and it's definitely unfortunately a more relatable girl of the year than 
than somebody who's traveling all the way to Australia and taking care of koalas. I'm pretty sure more of you guys have been bullied than have done that. People also really like your collection and I love the pastels in it and I feel like she has a lot of really memorable pieces. Going back to Sonali, I should have organized this outline better. Someone said that people should not be paying more than retail for Sonali and I would disagree with this because at least if Sonali is in a good condition, she is a retired doll so I think that she should cost more than retail but would I pay $500 for Sonali? Probably not. Maybe like $200 max and that's in Canadian. People think Krissa is pretty which I do too. I love her eyes. Is she my favorite girl of the year? Looks wise, no and I'm saying this right to my doll's face but I don't think she's ugly by any means. Maybe just the book cover is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like this video and want to hear people's opinions about the rest of the Girl of the Year dolls, remember to subscribe to my channel so you do not miss that video when it comes out, hopefully in the next week. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this video, what opinions you agree with, disagree with, and your own opinions. And of course, have an amazing day and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye! Mm -hmm.